The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, the realist puppet in the game. Today, we have got an extra special guest tutorial from the king of synth programming himself, Seven Skies. If you use Serum and you like wide sounds, then we've got a treat for you. So let's go. What's up, everyone? David Seven Skies here, broadcasting from the Reed Stefan Mansion today. What are we going to do? Well, today. I'm going to show you how to make your synth wider and your percussion wider too. What I'm going to do is randomize the pan without making it sound like an auto pan. So something very organic and very fun that will leave a lot of space in the mono side of your track and it's going to be super useful. So let's... All right, first of all, let's look at how to do this in Serum. Now I load up uh, one of my presets from my library which is called Destiny, and it sounds like this. We go to the matrix, and we don't care about uh, this stuff that has already been assigned, because that's from the preset, and we scroll all the way down to note on random. The second thing we're gonna do is go to oscillator A and select pen, and this is basically our whole modulation over here. Now we have to change a couple things. This type over here you see is unipolar right now, and we want to switch it to bipolar. So this way we can have both the right and the left. So just click it and you'll see that now the arrows are going left and right. And obviously we want to take the amount all the way up. And now let's hear how it sounds. So you can see it over here, and if I go here, you can see the pen, you'll see that the blue, the little blue dot is going to randomly go from left to right. So the other cool thing about this little trick is that if we init the preset and quickly redo the same thing, note on random, bipolar, well, yeah, oscillator A, pen, deck, and then we hit note, mm, and then we hit bipolar, then all the way up again. If we play a chord, what we get is Serum putting every single note that we're playing in our chord in a different pan position, which sounds super cool. And if we add some unison and detune, Obviously, guys, this is a very extreme example. If you want it to be less panned, you can always set the amount to a lower level, like let's say 40%. And this is amazing. It sounds incredible in tracks. Definitely use this trick because it's pretty good. Do your reggaeton rhythms sound like they could use a little tan? Are your Latin beats lacking culture and organic flavor? Here at Whole Loops, we've got the product for you. Introducing Hot Tropics 2, the sample pack sequel jam-packed with all the seasonings and tropical heat needed for your next Spotify smash. Hot Tropics 2 is available now only at wholeloops.com. Now, you might want to have the same trick on something that is more percussion-based, uh, and there is a very cool way to do this in Ableton. So we're going to load Whole Loops Urban 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 Beats 2 and we're just going to get a random uh, close hi-hat. Let's get the first one. Uh, we don't want simpler for this example. We want sampler. So right click over here, turn it into sampler. And that what we are going to do as well is open up a MIDI effect and we want to drop the velocity before 
sampler. Because we are going to get this random knob and turn it all the way up. And so if we play, you can hear, let me go into the global. If I take the velocity to volume all the way up, you can hear now it's randomizing the velocity. Now, I don't want the velocity to control the volume in this case. I want it to control the pan. And what I have, what you have to do is go to MIDI, velocity over here, set it to panorama. And once again, take the amount all the way up. And now let's hear how it sounds. Once again, you hear it panning left and right. Now there is um, one thing, especially with live, I can hear it. It tends to pan more on the right. And so what we can do is with the compensation, we can sort of take in a little bit to, mi to minus like 40. And that will sort of force it to pan a little bit more on the left as well. So it sounds more balanced. All right, this is pretty much it. Probably the fastest tutorial I've ever made. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to check out my new synth Get Low is a contact instrument that I just released. I worked so hard on this, but I'm super proud. A lot of big DJs are using it. Reed is using it. So go on standalone-music.com if you want, or check out my YouTube Seven Skies TV. And from me, David Seven Skies, hope you enjoyed the video and bye bye.